I start this on my whiteboard. I like to film these all in one setting. Sitting. Hi. We are a few weeks into school. Um, still in the honeymoon phase. It's been super smooth. It's been great. For those of you who don't know, I looped with my kids, so I'm teaching the same kids that I had in first grade and second grade. So it's been a really easy transition. Um, and I am so excited because second graders, I feel like, really develop a love and a passion for reading. And so I completely overhauled my classroom library this year. It's a project that I have been meaning to do for a few years, but I knew it would be such a daunting job. I just kept putting it off until this past summer I attacked it. And I'm really happy and excited with the way it's turned out. And, um... Over the past couple weeks, my kids have been utilizing it, and I'm really happy with um, how they've been using it. And so I want to share with you guys um, some different things I'm doing with my class library this year, um, how I organize my books, and yeah, it's after school. I'm just hoping nobody walks in while I'm filming this video because I forgot to lock my door. Anyway, um, I... I'm most definitely a fan of having books spread out around the room. I let kids go book shopping, um, multiple kids at a time, and I set a timer on the board, and they get, you know, a certain amount of minutes to shop for their books that they will keep in their book box all week. So I don't want my library to be concentrated in one part of the room because then that's where all the kids are going to be and there's just bound to be issues. So I like to spread out my books in a variety of locations. So I will show you where I keep them. This is the door coming into my room. Um, up here by the board, these books are all of my mentor read-alouds. So this is teacher space. So they know not to shop from those books there. Um, but first library is over here. Um, okay, but that's not where I'm going to start. Here's the door. Here's one of my libraries slash flex seating spots. There's another spot, but I'm going to start over here. Okay, <laughs> so all of these chapter books are eventually going to be used in a teacher small group at my small group table. So those are not for um, student independent use. Those are going to be used for small group readers. They're group readers. Um, down here are all the student book boxes. They have a phonics packet for the week in there, focusing on like that week's phonics skill. And then they have three leveled readers. Those are my leveled readers. Um, you know, I'm sure some of you guys do Lexile. We do um, A to Z. So A being like just starting to read, Z being like proficient reader. Um, so each kid gets a level and they choose three books each week that are at their level that they keep in their book box. And then this year I tried something different. So they're doing three leveled books, which I've always done. And then they choose two enjoyment books, which they keep in their seat stack. And enjoyment books don't have to be at their level. They're just books that they like and can read for pleasure. So there are certain times of the day that they need to read their leveled books. And then there are certain times of the day where they need to read their enjoyment books. So um, the way I keep all my books organized by theme is this numbered system that my darling husband helped me with over the summer. It was no small task. So I took all of the books from my class library and I organized them by like theme. So USA books are all in here. USA is my first book box and so every single one of these books has the number one so when kids return their enjoyment books they know which bin it goes in and my books don't get mixed up I interactive modeled this we talked about it like every time we went shopping for the first couple weeks and the kids are really mindful about using it and obviously I go in number order so a kid you know if a book is in bin seven I see them just going down the line and counting to seven so that they can find that bin um, so they are in number order and um, these themes were just kind of like the themes of the books that I had. I didn't really look up like second grade appropriate thematic books. This was just kind of the theme of all the books that I already owned and the kids are really super enjoying them so that's been really fun to see. Um, so themed books, their book boxes, 
Down below I have easy readers from the district that I also put numbers on. Sorry, school district, I needed to for organizational purposes. So they can shop from those and those are um, very accessible for my low readers, which is really great. This is my level library. It's kind of a mix of books that the district gives us and books, um, my books that I leveled and put in here because my district library books are like super old so like I said they shop from those once a week and then over here I have chapter books and then like easy read chapter books like level one level two level three the kids are loving those right now they're a huge hit um June B more just thematic books down here empty <laughs> room for more down here are all of my social skills books, and then I have some magazines that they can read. Those don't have numbers. They don't like magazines, though. So. And then back here I have <coughs> big books that don't fit anywhere else, and just miscellaneous books that really didn't fit into a category. Um, I forgot to mention when I have the kids shop from these bins. I take them out because obviously these are too high for kids to reach. I take them out and put them in different places around the room for them to shop. Um, enough, I have like two kids at like varying levels. Like I have two kids reading at a D, two kids reading at an E, two kids reading at an I, two kids reading at a G. So it's like two kids per spot, which worked out. I mean, it probably won't for long because kids are moving reading levels all the time. But anyway, I take a bin and I put, you know, one bin here and I say, okay, level G's, you're shopping at the ABC library today. Level J's, you're going to shop at the circle table today. Level D's, you're going to shop at the side table today. And I kind of have them all spread out around the room shopping. Um, these are my books. You'll notice they don't have a number in the corner. I always tell the kids when they're shopping for their enjoyment books, I say, if it has a number in the corner, that means it's for you. If it doesn't have a number in the corner, that means it's for me. Um, and you don't shop from those books. So these don't have numbers in the corner. They're mine. Um, these are just like themed books that I read for the different seasons and holidays and stuff. And so I organize those for... Um, easier access and I am just loving it so that's super nice um I also have a book hospital and a return so book hospital is for damaged books that need to be repaired return is if for some reason they can't find where a book goes um, it prevents them from just throwing it in a random bin and I will return it for them and yeah, that was kind of a quick overview of uh, my class library system. Um, as per usual, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments, let me know. I would be happy to answer. That's all I got. I feel like I went through that super quick, but it's pretty straightforward, which I like. So, till next time, guys.